there's a number of things that are changing or rotting or growing when I'm not in here. Seed stage is a is a, a, a room within the room of the museum. Uh, you approach the piece from the in the lobby gallery, and it's visible through uh, four slits on the sides of the room. And on the interior are a variety of systems of uh, storage, preservation, uh, tools for for taking action on material that's both uh, inorganic and organic material. There is a wide variety of activities, ranging from uh, actions that I take on the material using kitchen utensils, to uh, shop tools, uh, to, to cooking devices. So I have a stove, I have a printer, I have, a, I have a, a series of hot plates, I have a toaster oven, I have a bandsaw, a uh, bread oven, I have canning devices, pressure cookers, and four cameras. And all of those become tools in which I uh, think through the material processes as they're happening, both as, as I take action on material, but also as the material changes on its own. There's a number of uh, systems down here that I'm working with, one of which is the is worm bins. They are full of a combination of uh, compost, photographs, and worms that are digesting the two of them. So I've just pulled this parsnip out of the root cellar and I'm going to make a reproduction of it before I cut it up to eat it. So I use this color wheel as a way of, mo of taking color off to model uh, reproductions of things that I both photograph and often replace the, uh, the root vegetables or vegetables that I put back. So as I continue to use things, sometimes I will either regrow them or sometimes I will make reproductions of them. Constantly in conversation with action as it happens in here. And sometimes the action is geared toward a photograph and sometimes the photograph is just a resulting record of the action. So I want that question when one's looking at the photographs to be whether or not the photograph is a product of pre prepared action for the image or whether the photograph is a documentation of action that was improvised. I've, I've created this space with these four apertures as ways of people looking into an image in motion and not having them be physically relating to the space, but have them visually relate to it. I think of myself as an actor in a similar way to the multiple other organic things that are in states of change. I was interested in having people come in and watch me watch, and so they have their own experience of looking at the surroundings of what I'm looking at, at the same time that they can't exactly see what I'm framing on a moment-by-moment -moment basis.